Hey guys welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping motion graphic animation inside of After Effects so without wasting any more time let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects let's create a new composition and we will call this as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration i am going to choose 10 seconds only and background color is black color and simply hit ok so it will create this composition choose grid and guide option and then hit title safe action and now we will create one ellipse and for this color of this ellipse i am going to choose this purple color and simply hit ok and by holding shift let's create one ellipse then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now we will create one rectangle like this and by holding shift let's create this rectangle like that press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically again now click on this fill option and then instead of any colors i am going to choose this gradient and double click on it and hit ok and click on this one so it will allow us to choose our gradients now over here i am going to choose some darker version of this purple and copy this color code and hit ctrl c select this and hit ctrl v select this one and opacity i am going to make it zero like this yeah select this and we will delete this we don't want this one so let's move this totally up to here or let's say around here yeah and hit ok select this choose this fill select this grid now select our selection tool and we will move this gradient over here and we will move move this point over here like that yep this looks good now select this press s unlink this and scale it like that make sure that it's gonna be concurrent with this let's move this over here increase the scale we want to match this with this circle yep this looks good now select this shape layer bring it at the top press v for selection tool and by holding shift let's move this over here yeah now select this second layer and make it apparent with this first select this and let's bring this over here press p for position and create one keyframe and go to around let's say two seconds or let's say 1.15 frames and let's move this over here by holding shift we'll move this out of this compositions like that so if you see we will get this kind of animation select both the keyframes and hit f9 and let's see yeah now select both the layers and press ctrl shift c for to pre comp it and let's call this as ellipse and hit ok and now we'll see double click on this ellipse let's go over here and hit ctrl key to open the project settings uh, i mean the composition settings and let's make this way to 200 and let's see yeah simply hit ok and go to our main animation now now go over here like that now select this uh, pen behind tool and by holding control we will snap this anchor point over here press v and move this over here select this ellipse press r hit ctrl d r for rotation and let's make it 20 and let's see how does it looks now select both the ellipse press s and scale it down something like this yeah select this press r let's make it 30 hit ctrl d r let's make it 60 
hit control D or let's make it 90 hit control D or let's make it 120 hit control D press R let's make it 1 T hit control D press R let's make it 180 now select all of them hit ctrl d bring it at the top press r now select them and rotate it until the last value we will get is one yeah now we will select this one and simply hit delete yeah and as you can see we have two 180 180 so select this and delete so if you see this thing now we will get something like this hit you right click new and create null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null now select this null press s and scale it a little bit now select all of them press f4 and uncheck out this option like this oops sorry uh, we don't need to check out otherwise it will get something weird select this and let's increase the size that little bit yeah now go inside this ellipse or what you can do simply hit page down button two times select both the layer all the layers and by holding alt close bracket and zoom in a little bit and let's shift this over here or right click keyframe assistance sequence layers and hit ok zoom out and let's make it something like that so we'll get this kind of stuff yep. now i'm going to create one ellipse and this time i want only fill solid color and by holding shift let's create ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and over here for the color i'm going to choose white color like that yep now select all of them including null and press ctrl shift c and hit ok now select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it we don't want any fill so delete the fill i want the stroke and for the stroke color i'll choose white color and let's make it 100 press s and scale it like this create one keyframe hit u and go to around two seconds and let's make this zero let's move this to over here select those keyframes and hit f9 hit ctrl d and select this stroke select the speaker and we will choose this color and hit ok and let's move this over here something like this select this and bring this at the top like this now we will select both of them let's move them over here i want after this one animation they should be ap appearance of these things and at this point select this hit ctrl t and move this over here like that go to around one second let's move this over here go to around two second let's move this over here and let's see so now select both of them and let's move this over here as you can see the difference between this uh, composition is one one second so select this select this hit ctrl d move this over here go to three hit ctrl d move this over here so we we'll go from here to here and then at this point i'll hit n and if you see i'll get this continuous animation now if you want select both of them hit u and let's see now select this hit ctrl d bring this at the top and move this over here press u so we'll get this extra layer and if you want then you can decrease the stroke of this one 
so let's say 20 can select this and move this over here also so So we'll get this continuous animation now select this hit ctrl d and reduce the stroke width to let's say 40 and for the color i'm going to choose this color now go to the add menu and choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make it 70 go to the ellipse to go to the stroke and choose round cap like this now select this press r for rotation create one keyframe press u go over here and let's make it proper one now select those keyframes and hit f9 now select these keyframes of both layers and move them over here like that now select this shape which is our main circle i'll bring this at the top and i'll change the color of this one like this now select this press ctrl shift c and i'll call this as my main and hit ok yep now i'm going to select all the shape layers and let's hit u so it will select or simply hit u on composition now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select all the graphs and by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here and if you see the animation we'll get something like this now we'll go to the main animation comp now we'll select this ellipse we will hit ctrl d duplicate it now check out this hit ctrl d again and we will call this layer as mask and hit ok now select this shape layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for blur effect on it and we will apply this gaussian blur and let's increase the blur value to 50 or even more than that now press f4 and in track mat i am going to choose an alpha inverted mat so as you can see you will get this kind of stuff now select this mask and make it apparent with this shape layer so if you see now select this shape layer go to the start let's make it something around 70 create one keyframe then select this mask press s create one keyframe and go to 15 frames and let's make it 150 or even 200 select this and let's make it more than that so it will cover all this thing so if you see we will get this kind of stuff something like this or what you can do to make this more glowy uh, you will go over here select the scale i mean both the scales and let's make it a little bit smaller and only at this point i'm going to cover this all so if you see from here we'll get this something like this now if you want to increase the uh, size of this uh, instead of going to the scale now if you want to increase the size go to the ellipse path and you can increase the size of it so you will get something like this and at this point select this and increase the size like this so if you see you will get this kind of animation now hit u select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this over here so we will get this glowing effect continuously now select both of them press ctrl shift c and let's call this as glow and hit ok hit ctrl d move this over here go to the one frames hit ctrl d move this over here Control D, move this over here. Control T, move this over here. Control D, go over here. Hit Control D again. Let's see how does it looks. We will get this continuous animation. Now after that, I'll select both the layer, all the layers. Go to the start and let's shift those layers over here. 
like that so now if you see on three seconds we will get this continuous looping animation and if you see in our main animation we will get this kind of stuff now if you want then you can change the graph editor of this one also like if you hit f9 it's okay or you can select all this by holding shift let's move this handle over here only so if you see now we'll get this kind of thing or you can select this graph hit f9 you can move this graph over here so it will come fast and then it will go slow now we have to add some texture look so go to this ellipse composition now select this ellipse right click go to the layer styles and choose bevel emboss go to this bevel emboss and increase the size then increase the softness and for this color i'll choose my white only and but for this one i am going to choose bluish color and now select this layer style hit ctrl c select this layer and hit ctrl v so it will apply this layer tiles to this one also now if you go to the main animation we will get something like this now as you can see we have this shape layers over here so select all of them and hit ctrl v so it will paste that layer style to this compositions also now go to the main i'm going to select this and hit ctrl v to paste it now select this shape layer and bring it at the top select all this glow and if you want then you can paste this layer style to this one also so we will get something like this now press ctrl y to create a background layer and i'm going to move this over here go to the effect and presets panel and search for four color gradient and now we will choose some purple colors and i mean purple color variant variants purple and bluish should be good yeah and it's totally up to you the color combinations and if you want to make it dark all you need to do select this press t for opacity and let's make it 50 and let's see yeah so we'll get something like this now if you want to add something on it you can simply uh, right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for glow effect after applying that to increase the glow result to 98 glow radius to 50 or let's say 80 and glow intensity i'm going to choose 0.5 let's increase the glow radius to 200 let's see and let's make this 100 and glow intensity 0 0.2 that's a 0 0.3 now hit ctrl 0 to open the project settings uh, as you can see over here my depth is 32 bit per channel if it's 62 bit it will the glow effect will kind look different so i would recommend then you should go with the 32 bit per channel float so it uh, our color will look some awesome so yep this is how you can create the looping animation uh, motion graphics no. so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit